you know it's like this new cleat, but I don't know what these people are in the face you've built on. <laughs> Aww. That's sad. Is there a Russian version of Rodney Dangerfield? Inquiring minds want to know. Not really. Well, that was anticlimactic. You know, the incendiary 10 millimeter pistol is... Yeah, I mean, I guess it's useful across the board, not just against Mirelurks or whatever, but... I, I don't know, it's, it's pretty bad. Um, poison is better, and bleeding is even better than that. I don't know what I just unlocked, but it's... I guess it must be Quincy Ruins. There probably is a, a Russian version of Rodney Dangerfield. I've never ever even... I don't even know who he is. You don't even know who he is? Should we do a, a, a no. tiny primer in the middle of the stream? But you don't even know who he is. It is like freaking Jerry Springer. Well, that's not good. That's our that's our political machine right there. Going to fucking pieces. Are we seriously this low low fi in our minds that well, we need to It just it just makes me so sad. No, it makes everybody really sad. Okay. <laughs> Is there an explosive version of a ten millimeter pistol? Yeah, anything that can be on a pistol can or a peon weapon can be on a ten millimeter pistol. Fuck. Somebody spotted me, but I don't know who. Who is this? Oh, I see. Well, somebody hoot and hollered and jumped the truck off the freeway and did some jet and then died. Mikhail Sven Svenetsky. Buffo says there is one. Or Buffo does. Why are you? Why are you watching this right now? Please don't. Yeah, I don't I don't want his fucking voice in my stream. He 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 occupies like less than 1% of my thoughts during the day. And that's, you know, against my against my better wishes. You know, I cannot remember where the fucking Quincy ruins are or not the wind the ruins the the quarry, I guess. The quarry is where I want to go. I could swear we just went in a great big goddamn circle. Let's see here. What the hell is this guy doing out here? Why are there... Nope, that didn't work. Plasma guy. Plasma guy is going to cause the most problems. But he's behind the pole and none of these hits are not hitting him. This guy grabbed up the uh, plasma thing, or he tried to. Stop circumambulating. I was trying to fucking... I was trying to find my way to the... Uh, what do you call it? But it didn't work. You know what I mean? As you can. God damn it! I mean, I guess...
guess I turned the kid in, but I was eating. <laughs> Fuck! These people have no respect. No respect at all. You did. You're near the kid's house. I know that Where did now. I put that? Jesus Christ. I can't remember where the Peabody house is in relation to the... to the quarry. The quarry is across from Quincy, and it's between Quincy and, like, where the kid in the fridge normally is. It must be on the other side of the city. Wrecked out of ten. Yeah, I'm not doing super great this stream. I don't know if it's the flame pistol or what the fuck it is, but I feel like I'm just... I feel like I'm just pissing into my fucking pajamas over and over and over again. And probably if I go over here to where the Quincy Quarry is, there's just going to be raiders that annihilate me there as well. I don't know if we've crossed some secret dark threshold, but bad shit seems to be afoot in all directions all the time now. Just watch the debate instead. That sounds like not much fun. That sounds like the opposite of fun, really. All right, now let me think here. Is the quarry over I'm here where the radio side. tower is? I mean, here's all these stones and shit. There's a red rocket. Mini nuke too heavy to pick up. <laughs> I don't usually carry them around, that's for sure. Yeah, I think this is where the quarry is. Found it. We may have some trouble. What a blackout militia. And hey, dog food, how you doing? Rifle. Going peck, 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 peck. Don't fuck with them, they have gamma guns. These people don't have fucking gamma guns. These are just raiders. With the occasional bullshit weapon or ten. That's great. I'm so glad for you. They probably didn't get away. Oh, she's dead. Okay, good. It is irradiated as fuck out here, though. Lost them. Well, let's turn the fucking tables on these pricks. No 
I have a new 10 millimeter. Yep, I got a flaming one, so now I have three. Fuck, I can't see that guy in the goddamn rain. guy before he gets up. She was going to attack me with a revolutionary sword. What a badass. This guy had a 10 millimeter pistol. That makes my heart sing. If you do what I just did, by the way, in case you're thinking that I keep not picking them up, you do strip the ammunition out of them by putting them into your inventory and then putting them back down again. That does work. There's a vol up map that's zoned to show you tougher areas. Yeah, I've seen it. I mean, you know. I don't know what else to expect, but... Holy shit, there's two more guys over there. Well, let's go over there. If I can. I'm surprised. I didn't think there was anybody else. Why are these guys running around? God damn. I see the ammo box that's next to my knees here, but Got this it. was what my brain went to first. Nothing. Irrated. It has been irritated super heavily. Yeah. Hmm. I guess you can sleep when you're taking radiation damage, if you know what I'm saying. It must be one of those break apart combat shotguns, you know. How much does Max and spend on uh. Brother Birds? They'll spend money. That's the craziest thing about the Brotherhood of Steel. They, they don't fucking spend anything. They just go in and take whatever the fuck they want. But they charge their own soldiers for equipment. It doesn't happen in any other army in the okay, world. Take this. Nice, I got some 10mm bullets there too. We're starting to get a hefty little... Hefty little equation here. I'm kind of getting stoked on it a little bit. There's a, the main dude is down here. Thank you! <laughs> We leveled the fuck up, man. Wait, now is a great time to take that radiation resistance, you know what I mean? Ooh, 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 ooh la la. God damn, this is so much less stressful than what we were doing. What the fuck was that? It was a man with a gun. 
There's still the dudes in this hut here. And then there's possibly dudes in this area here, but I don't know for sure. Lock tight. Fuck. Alright, well. Ada can open shit, I just haven't done it yet. Oh, I'm too I'm too well lit. I'm surprised. I would have thought what's his name would have had a fucking key, but apparently not. What did I change that made it less stressful? Now before I was trying to do uh this fucking nightmare area the Poseidon energy rig or whatever the fuck it's called and I got killed maybe four or five times within like the first half hour of the stream Let's take a look What did we receive for our pleasurable bounty? We got eight 10 millimeter bullets. Not a total loss. There's also the safe down here that we need to clear out as well. I'm kind of impressed. I would have thought for sure that the main guy down here would have had. I guess we didn't actually go down and hit this dude up, did we? He probably has a key on him. Oh no, he doesn't. That's not what I want. I need to take your harness back. Fuck, why do I keep picking up stupid shit? It's always... Alright, I guess we gotta get out of this area. Getting killed. Yeah. Um, it won't let me sleep for eight hours, I don't think. Perk survival run. Maximum strength in melee, but his run is really questionable. That could be done. Oh, brother. To Ivan Shinji Karamazov for Dostoevsky pun on Twitch. It's pretty good. Um, Archduke Crunch. I think if I was going to do that. If you guys want to know why I'm standing here with my fucking thumb in my ass, it's because even though I can't see it happening, I'm slowly recovering my radi from my radiation poisoning. Um, it's happening. I can't see it happening, but it is happening. It removes it about four rads a second. And we were almost dead from rads, which means that we probably had somewhere in the vicinity of 800 to 900 rads. Which removes it four rads a second, which comes to two hundred seconds, which is two and a half, two and forty, two yeah, two minutes forty seconds. So we're gonna kick it here for a second, let the radiation slowly recede, and then we can go down there and eat those bodies to recover our health. 
No blitz sounds tough as shit. Now here's here's what you have to do in that build. Um, I mean, obviously the first thing that you want to do is you want to get a medium damage weapon. A medium sp I mean, a medium speed weapon for for now for to begin with, okay? And you want to basically focus on that um, up until you can get the harvester and use the harvester for the rest of the game. Because no matter how shitty your damage is, if you can separate the guys up, and you can in that situation, then you can use the harvester. Um, you can still use chems, you can still use stims, you can still carry around 5,000 purified waters and drink yourself healthy every single time that you were under attack. You would never need to pick up junk, except for where you could upgrade a weapon without having anything um, set up. Now here's an interesting thing. There are two weapons in this game, well there's a few weapons in this game, but in particular there's two weapons that stand out that you don't need a single perk to upgrade a fully. One of them is the Flamer, and the other one is the Cryolator. So if you have the Cryolator, uh, and you use it in conjunction with the melee shit, like, oh fuck, there's a really big guy, switch over to the Cryolator, not too bad. Um, you could have full armor if you really wanted to, but what I would do is I would use power armor. And um, I would just keep a companion, like, I mean, maybe not like Ada, because you can't modify Ada. Cosworth would be an okay companion. Or somebody else, Strong maybe. Strong has the highest carry weight of all your companions. And every time I found a power armor, I would strip all the power armor components off. You could even go up against the Brotherhood, and every time you kill a Brotherhood guy, you could strip all of his bullshit off. What up, Glossili? How you doing? And Peacecraft, what's up, man? Alright. I, I feel like I'm walking weird. Am I walking weird? Oh, no, I'm just crouched. I was like, am I injured? Is there something wrong with me? But I guess I'm fine. No way I could pick this. Well, get your motherfucking ass down here so we don't have to. Where are you? Hey. Yes, sir. Think you can unlock that? Any fucking time, sweetheart. My butt is broken. No way, my butt is perfect. Look at that ass. All scaly and shiny and awesome. Alright, I don't know what the fuck she's doing. Besides wasting the shit out of my time. So we gotta go down here. Oh, look at that! I had no idea there were still dudes down here. God damn, that's like that scene in Judge Dredd. You, you know what I'm talking about? I guess the movie's just called Dredd. God damn. Is there anything worse than getting shot to death in the face with phosphorus rounds? Not, not yes. much, I should think. Oh yeah, I wanted to eat a bunch of people, recover my health. Can companions p pick the master lock that has the cryolator? Kate can, yeah. And I think anybody that has the any of the robots that have the bullshit or whatever, they can do it too. Yeah, you could you could do it with Kate. You couldn't modify the robots, I guess. I don't know, maybe you could. I haven't really looked into it very much, but anyways. vault -Tec Calling. You can do almost all of this quest without having to leave and come back. So, we'll do this for probably the rest of the stream. Uh, what do we got here? It's way of 40 minutes or so. The vault doors were meant to withstand a direct nuclear strike. Your attempts to breach this facility are laughable. When did we do this? We did we did it with Grandma Reddit, I think. No, did I do it with Egg? Leave at once. Come 
Yeah, fuck your arm, asshole. I wonder where Ada went. I think she's still picking that lock. Taking locking and hacking perks. You don't need to do that if you don't want to. Do you? Oh, good. Holy fuck, that's a big ass Eevee. When will you tire of this futility? Yeah, you scared me the fuck off. Hey, buddy. Nice. And he had a uh, 10 millimeters in his inventory. This guy did at least. Eh. Nope, not a, not a great one. There was the no pit boy except in the settlements build. Oh, uh, when we were playing as Leon? I thought we used grenades and shit. I thought that was part of it, that we were using grenades and shit. Guess what, baby? I got me a working pit boy. Or whatever. Level the fuck up. What? You have a pit boy? Wait. Are you full tech? Have you finally come to save me? Please. I'm trapped behind a mountain of rubble. The key to free is getting the workshop operational. First, lift the security lockdown and get to the reactor room. Yeah. Security rock down, reaction room, somebody something. Uh, to maintain the faith. Oh, 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 oh. So many years stranded here. But you can assure Dr. Braun, if he's even still around, that I have used the time productively. You the haven't done fuck all. Be. You've been in here for 200 years, you haven't even scrapped all the bullshit. You could have unfucked this area by hand if you wanted to, but you didn't. Yay. The terminal's got this locked. Fuck. <laughs> Fuck. Security. Why don't any of you ever have anything I want? God damn it! You're supposed to loot all the ghouls. Oh yeah. I think I did it. Very good. Nice. Workshops require their control board to function. During emergencies, the procedure is to store it in the reactor room. Look in there and you should find it. Uh huh, uh huh. There's the rubble. Dude, this place is fucking so big and it bums me out that. I mean, I know you can bullshit it. But. It seriously, seriously bums me out that it doesn't let you fill the whole area with vault tech shit. This is a big fucking ghoul. 
Let's not fuck around with this guy. How does that sound? He just did an explosives only permadeath run. That's pretty fucking gnarly, dude. Resolute handmade rifle, huh? That's pretty cool.